Hey guys, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. I'm gonna try another crackle balloon today. And I ordered some stuff with some Christmas cash and I got a set of 12 acrylic inks. This one is called Yellow o Ochre. So I thought I would do this in my backdrop with some interference gold. And I will do a blue, well, a cerulean blue bloom. And I'm going to be using my Ocean White Pigment Paste for the bloom, which is right here. I forgot to get it out. So what I'm using is my normal Fast Cure by Let's Resin, heated to 33 degrees. I mixed up two ounces. This is my three ounce mold, the one with the crystal edge. I also have a five ounce available. But I usually do the three ounce because, you know, these are demos. I don't do anything with them, but do them for you. So I'm using the three ounce. I'm still waiting for this to heat up. Um, I think it is at 31, something like that. Almost 32. So once this is at 33 to 34, we're going to pour this in. I'm going to get a bag ready, a piping bag ready for my white, and we're gonna see if I can get a better crackle effect than I got the other day. Um, on the last video I did, it, the red one, I wasn't crazy about it, I mean, it's okay, but it's not the crackle effect I'm going for, so I wanna see if acrylic inks are going to do anything different for me. So let's uh, start this in just a second. All right, it is at 33 degrees, exactly. So I'm going to dump most of this into the mold. And I'm gonna keep back maybe a half ounce for the white, because you don't need that much. And it does bloom very good if you have a thin layer on the bottom, better than a thicker layer, I've found. So that is something to keep in mind. There's, yeah, that's good enough. I mean, whatever it is, it is, it's more than I need. I'm just gonna pop these bubbles because you cannot put Fast Cure through a bubble remover, it just doesn't work. So don't even bother trying. I've tried it and tried it and tried it and it makes you more bubbles, so don't even bother. So I'm just going to do what I did last time and I'm gonna go a little darker than I normally do because I liked that they, the wispy effect was there but it wasn't as bad. It wasn't like see-through, I don't want see-through. So, oh, before I worry about that, I gotta put my alcohol ink in so it can start spreading. I haven't done one with alcohol inks for a while. The Let's Bresin brand, I think, is the best for this technique because look at how much it spreads out. My other brand, I use Picasso. It doesn't spread out like this. So I do highly recommend the Let's Resin brand for your blooms if you want them to spread. So we're just gonna let that do its thing while I'm over here mixing my white. And the amount of white depends on how much resin you have to use. So I really can't say how many drops per what because I only use what's left. And that's nice and opaque. So I'm just going to transfer that over into my little bag here, my piping bag. And I'm gonna do the same way I did it. Well, I'm kinda gonna, I'm gonna draw petals like I did last time and then I'm going to draw circles too. I'm just gonna combine the two techniques together and see if I can get a fuller flower this time. I don't know if it's going to work. I've never tried that before. I don't know that I've seen it done, although I don't have a lot of time to watch a lot of people anymore. So I'm just going on what I think might work. So let's just get our bag ready. And if that gets too small, just add a little more. But I don't want a ton of color. I just want a hint of color. I know it's gonna kind of pull in too. Just popping some bubbles here. I think that'll be enough because I want to be able to see the crackle effect behind it. So let me just cut my bag. I'm just gonna twist it really tight and cut the top off like right about there away from my project. 
And I'm just gonna start piping in some petals. Three layers of those, and I think I just want to kind of do a little bit of that. And then I'm going to take a little tool here, and I'm just going to kind of help draw some lines for these lines. You know what I mean? I need a paper towel. Here we go. Petals for the lines that I just did is what I'm trying to say. I think that's good. I'm just gonna swirl my center today. And then I'm going to pop some bubbles. I think I need this torch. The other one's dying on me. Just be careful with your mold. You don't wanna fuse it to your resin. But there are a lot of bubbles in this. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on a time lapse and see what this looks like. Okay, it's cured. I've got resins mixed and split up. Now this coat, I don't do my four hour cure because I want movement as long as possible to make the crackle effect. So I use my casting resin and I, I recommend doing, you know, thinking about your project so you get the best effect as possible. Not that it always works out the way I want it to, but what I'm going for is a golden color against this greenish tealish blue whether i get it or not i have no idea but that's what i'm going for so i'm going to mix one with this new acrylic ink in yellow ochre and one with my interference gold mica powder and then it's basically a puddle pour very simple i have no I, i've never had acrylic inks before so i don't know how much it takes if it's kind of like an alcohol ink or not. So I want a transparent, but I definitely want the color behind it. So I need some more than that. That's not enough. So it's kind of, I for some reason thought in my head it would be like a pig pigment paste and very dark, but that's not what I'm getting. So that's good to know. I can use this for transparent colors because that's what I need it for. Let me find a paper towel so I can see against that because I can't tell against this yellow stick what color yellow this is. Okay, I need more than that so hard to tell from looking down on your color what color you actually have so then basically I'm just gonna let this sit I'm not gonna turn the heat mat on probably for a good hour or two once it starts gelling up and it's not gonna move anymore then I'll turn the heat mat on and just finish curing it otherwise I'd have to wait you know overnight and I don't want to do that Let's check this one. It's still not that dark. I wanted it a little darker. That should be good. Whatever it is, that's what I'm going with. These are kind of like outside of my box colors, so I think you all should be proud of me. It's not blue, it's not pink. I don't know if I've ever used this color before. That should be good. I'm gonna check it anyway, even though I'm not gonna change it. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Okay, oh, let me mix up 
my interference gold. It's basically white with a hint of gold. And I don't want too much powder. I only need enough to make it opaque so you can't see through it. So you don't need to go crazy with your powders or they're just gonna sink. Then you're definitely not gonna get your crackle. So do a little bit at a time so you can't see your stick. I need just a tiny bit more. Because I really don't want a white background because a white background against the bloom would be very hard to see. Still a little bit. And it looks like it bloomed, but it did do that little wispy effect that I get all the time. I don't know how to get rid of that. Not that I don't like it, but sometimes I don't want it. Sometimes I just want a nice flat petal. And I can't seem to get a flat petal. That might be good. See those two colors go together nicely. With the green, I hope it's a good choice. I think that's good. We're gonna find out. I don't know, I'm nervous. Is that enough? I'm gonna put just a tad bit more. I don't want it, I don't want it transparent. I don't want to be disappointed in another crackle. It's so hard to see on a stick. I need my white sticks. I don't have any near me, so I'm not gonna go get one. Well, I'm going with it. I'm going with it and we're gonna see what happens. So basically puddle pour it. There's the one. There's the other. That's it. I lied, guys. This is my five ounce coaster. <laughs> I thought it was my three ounce. It's my five. I'm like, why do I have room in there? I only have three ounces in there. Okay, it doesn't matter. You could just use the five ounce like a three ounce if you wanted to. I'm just gonna pop some bubbles. Oh, that one's dead. I knew it was losing power. And I need a stick because my finger doesn't push that down very good. Just be careful with your mold. All right, I'm going to put you on a time lapse. It's that time, everyone. The time where I'm excited, but I'm nervous because like 50% of the time I'm not happy with it. But I'm going to show you anyway. So I took the leftover white that I had from the petals and I added some cast and craft blue. And I marbled a couple pendants. Those came out pretty cool. I put a little pinch bail on there. So these will get given away. I'm going to set those aside. Now this is still warm. I used the heat mat. After about two hours, I turned the heat mat on to get it done quicker. And I am nervous. Oh, it's still really bendy. Are we ready? Oh, gosh. Did it work? Because it doesn't look like it worked. That time lapse showed almost nothing. So I'm not, I don't have high hopes. Here we go. Ugh, the crackle did not work again. I don't understand. I don't even, oh, I don't like that either. Too much white in the center. Okay, so when I'm doing the petals and all that white is landing in the center, that's why I got the center like that. So you could always cover that up with UV resin and some, some glitter if you liked the coaster, but I'm not in love with the coaster. 
You could see kind of crackle effect. I'm wondering, maybe I'm not using enough mica powder. I think I'll do it again. And use a lot more mica powder. Um, hmm. I don't know, because I've done it well. I've done it good on other videos, so I don't understand what the problem is. Let me think about this for a second. All right, you're forcing my hand. I'm not giving up, so you're getting a bonus bloom today. So what I did, I know I've done crackle before. I went in my closet and I found them. So these are the two that were extremely successful. Look at that coaster. It is gorgeous. And this tray works perfectly. So what I did with the magic of editing, I turned you off and I went and watched my own video to see what the heck I did different. The only thing I see I did different was more mica powder. So instead of being very thin with the mica powder, like I was like being very sparingly, that's a no-no. You need to put some mica powder in there. So that's what I did different on that one. So I'm changing a couple things up. I don't care. I mean, I care. I'm more concerned about getting the crackle perfect so I could do it every time. So that's what I'm really focusing on on this one. I am going to change up the actual bloom, though. I just got these in the mail, and I ordered these off of Amazon. And this is a pigment paste by Resin Art, G-R-D-Z. I don't know who they are, but they were pigment paste. It came in a set of four. These are the four colors that I got. So I'm going to use this blue in place of my white. Whoops, I'm trying to put them away. So I'm going to use this blue instead of my blue, or instead of my white, ocean white, because I'm tired of my white looking like that, and I'm going to try something else. And then for my crackle, I'm changing up the colors since I changed it to that blue. I'm going to use the acrylic ink in black because it was transparent, and I used less transparent than I did the mica, so I was heavier on the mica than I was on the um, transparent, and I'm going to use white pearl. So black and white and blue, that should be very pretty. I might actually put some, some uh, glitter in the center of this one. I'm just waiting for my resin to heat up here to 33, and I'm not quite there yet. So I'm just rambling on. Let me go pick out a little bit of glitter for the center, and I don't think I'm going to be doing the petals like I did. Well, I guess if the center is glitter, I'm glad I'm talking this out with you guys because I have to talk to somebody and nobody in my house is listening to me. So if I put glitter in the center and you do put all this white that ended up in the center of this one, it won't matter because it would be behind the glitter. So glitter could be a savior. Let me go find some glitter. So am I the only crazy person up at midnight not letting a bloom defeat somebody? I can't be the only person doing this. So this is heated to 33, I think 34, actually. Doing the exact same thing. There's glitter in there. Let me get a paper towel. And I did pick out a little glitter for the center. I'm just going to mix the tiniest bit. I'm gonna set that aside. Spray that with alcohol. There's another piece of glitter. Okay, so I chose my Midnight Bling. It is a holographic black with some blues and greens and reds and pinks and all the colors of the rainbow. I'm gonna put that in the center this time. That way if I end up with um, a blobby white again, this will probably hide it. I don't want a lot because I don't really like glitter. I know it's crazy that I'm saying that, but I don't like glitter in the center of my flowers. It's not that I don't like the glitter. It's the fact that it's always off center and that's user error. Okay, so that, isn't that beautiful? Guys, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't use it on a lot of things. I need to start using it more. Now that I got it in here. So I think, let me see if I can zoom you in. My camera, I'm 
Nope, see it flashes. Every time I zoom you in, it flashes. I have to figure that out. I'm so tired of this stinking phone. It's brand new. I got it for the camera, and what good did that do me? None. All right, oops. I don't want a lot. Because it's going to, it usually moves where I don't want it to be. All right, I'll set the rest of that aside. I'll make another pendant. Yes, sure. Let me grab a stick. And we're gonna see how this does. Again, I'll do like one drop at a time. Cause I've never used this pigment paste before. I don't know anything about it. I may end up having to add my own like white to it maybe. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Well, that was only one drop and it's pretty pigmented. Let's add another one and see what happens. I mean, as much as I want it to work, I want the crackle to work more than I'm the bloom at this point. Okay, that's pretty opaque, so yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to put it in my little cup. So this time I'm not going to turn the heat mat on. Like I said, it is midnight. I'm not going to wait. I will, de I will be putting the crackle on in the morning. All right. Let's do this again. I planned on a very quick short video for you today and here it's going to be twice as long. Let me just get a torch and pop some of these bubbles. Okay. Scissors, where did my scissors go? So, what do I do? Do I do petals again? Um, nope, I'm going back to my swirl. Except I'm gonna do extra swirl. Actually, I don't even want it that big. I have so much left over because I want to see the crackle. So that was one mistake. I should have made it even smaller than this. So I'm just going to pull the petals. I don't have a good feeling about this blue. I can't barely see it. Let's go out this time. Oops, I just dragged a piece of glitter. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I can't see the definition on the blue. I do see that I moved glitter down there though. Let's do this center anyway. I'm gonna torch it again and I'll leave it. Let's see if I can get a time lapse. I don't know if you'll be able to see it though. first thing next morning because I cannot wait but I am not confident about the little bloom here I think it's going to be <clears throat> excuse me a little too light to see any petals but I'm going with it anyway because like I said this is more about the crackle effect so I've already mixed my pump resin I'm just going to color it here 
So black is going to be my vein colors, my transparent. And I will make sure to add extra, not extra, but more mica powder. I know if you add too much, it doesn't work. Uh, that's what I was afraid of adding too much and I added too little. That looks pretty good. And I think I, I kept more than half this time for my mica powder. Because in the video of that tray, I split it uh, more than half. So we're going to try that. I mean, that looks good, but I'm going to add just a tiny tinge more. Watch, I'll probably add too much. I wish there was a formula for this, but there's not. So if it works, I will be extremely happy. Okay, I'm gonna dump it. I'm gonna let it do its thing for about two hours. Then I'm going to turn this heat mat on and get this thing cured so I can see the results faster. All right. And I did make some pretty pendants with the leftovers of the last one, so I'm going to finish those up and I'll show you those before we demold this thing. All right, so here we go. Here goes nothing. I'll stick you on a time lapse. Hopefully you'll see some veins and striations forming. That's the that's what we're going for. All right. Here we go. ready for the moment of truth I'm not I'm nervous so it's dry enough that we can demold it but I want to show you I am excited about these here's the leftover glitter I stuck in the mold and then I put a little starfish in and then I UV resin right over him and domed him so that's pretty cute somebody's gonna end up with that one I just put a pinch bail on it there's the glitter in the back and then the other ones, I love this color pigment, even though I don't think I'm gonna like it for the bloom, but look at this color. It's like robin's egg blue. And then, while it was tacky, I took some like diamond dust, or like a foilish, and I got that inside the resin while it was drying. And then I realized some of these were upside down, so I went ahead and flipped them over and rubbed some UV resin on the top side and then sprinkled more diamond dust. So these are all sealed in with resin, UV resin. So I think they're beautiful. So some of you are going to be getting these. All right, I know, I'm stalling. All right, you ready? I'm. I don't know. I don't have high hopes. And here we go. Oh, it worked! Oh my god, it worked! I don't like the flower, but the crackle worked. I almost wish the flower wasn't there at this point. That is beautiful. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do... I'm gonna do the coaster without the flower. 
that crackle came out amazing and the flower ruins it. So just think if that wasn't there, I mean, it worked, the flower worked, but mm, it's a little wispy. It's not bad, it's just not potent enough. I guess if I would have added some white, or maybe the background is bad for this, I don't know. Either way, look at the crackle. That's it, you guys. It was the ratios of mica that ruined this one. And you can kind of see it. Oh, look, I resined it right to the thing. You can kind of see it trying. But again, there was not enough mica in there. But that one worked. I wish that wasn't there. Okay. All right. Well, now we know, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry I took up an extra 15 minutes of your time. But, you know, you got to learn lessons, too. There's the back, which didn't look like it worked. So I think I will do just a crackle with some glitter or something in the center of it. I will think of something. All right. You guys have a blessed day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.